Joining us now to discuss the Bitcoin market is Jason Pagulados. He is at Delphi Digital Markets. He's a Delphi Digital Markets associate. Good afternoon, Jason. Hi, Lawrence. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. So, of course, we saw Bitcoin now falling below 21,000. What, what's your near-term outlook? Uh, so, yeah, um, I think I joined you guys about a month ago, right? And this was around like July 15th. And we uh, we had kind of like a similar discussion. Uh, fortunately, back then, prices were going up and we were kind of discussing whether or not it was just a bear market rally, uh, what was going on back then, right? So, like, uh, our takeaway from that discussion was kind of like, hey, it's crypto markets and risk asset markets are generally highly correlated right now we've seen it over the last 12 months you can see it with pretty much almost any equity chart you overlay with a crypto protocol you can see it with ethereum and the nasdaq bitcoin and the spx whatever two pairs you want to look at the correlation is extremely high which kind of led us to believe that like the macro factors are what are what are driving these these bigger moves right so we just had the fed uh, minutes released last week which you hinted at and kind of explained that it kind of showed that the fed is uh, alarmed at the persistently high inflation readings that they're seeing which is telegraphing that they're willing to to likely continue hiking at least in the near term uh, so markets are kind of reevaluating after they had their nice relief rally over the last couple of weeks. And now it seems like all eyes are kind of going to be on the Jackson Hole uh, event in August yeah. and then the uh, September FO FOMC meeting. So now you say, of course, all eyes will be on, on that Jackson Hole meeting. What are the expect yeah. expectations for the crypto market? What, what do they think is going to happen here? Uh, what, so what does the crypto market think is going to happen? So I think... Um, I think people are trying to front run the Fed pivot. I think uh, that's that's kind of clear at this point, right? Which is why a lot of people are getting kind of caught off guard with these with these moves down on on news that isn't really new, right? Like uh, at the at the previous F FOMC meeting, they they explicitly said everything that came out in these minutes. Yet markets continue to rally, right? So it's like. It, it appears as though risk assets are trying to front run this this Fed pivot that we know will eventually have to come. Uh, the risk is that market participants yeah, try just, too early and then let, you, let, you unfortunately have to unwind that. Let, let, let's just be clear. Way, explain to, to the audience what, if, what the Fed pivot is. Gotcha. Right. So uh, as you mentioned in the previous segment, uh, the Fed is, is uh, telegraphing that they're going to continue on their current path of hiking interest rates, which would move them into restrictive territory. Right. At the previous meeting, they, they noted that they find that they currently assess that the that the current uh, interest rates are at neutral territory. However, if they continue hiking, that puts them into restrictive restrictive territory, which is an environment that risk assets haven't been in in a, in a very long time, generally speaking. Right. So the Fed pivot would be when they then decide to pause their their current path of hiking interest rates and eventually start to ease back down to neutral and potentially into accommodative territory. So that's kind of what the the Fed pivot is referring to. So, so for the folks at home, what, what does that ultimately mean? I mean, where, where do you see things happening in the next yeah. two to three months? Okay, so next two to three months, I think, are, are going to be uh, likely a lot of the same of, as what we've seen since, since uh, June and the uh, liquidations that we saw back then, right? I think we're probably going to see some more uh, range-bound markets. There might be an attempt to breach the lows after we failed to breach the highs of the previous uh, uh, over the previous couple of weeks, right? Um, but I think generally markets are probably pinned until we get more clarity uh, coming from Jackson Hole at the end of August. 